Hello my dear students, take my heart. I hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. My little brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behold on all of you. My little brothers, today I will try to discuss about your elementary mathematics and I will try to solve all the questions, all the problems which is mentioned in your textbooks in page number 54. Before solving the questions, I would like to show you the questions which is mentioned in page number 54. So let's try to do the class and let's get started. Dear students, I hope you all are able to show page number 54. Yes, dear students, it is page number 54 and here we can see that there has a one challenge and two questions today i will try to solve this challenge and i will also try to solve these two questions so before that before solving the challenge i would like to say you that whenever you will try to solve any type of questions whenever you will try to solve any types of problems before that you should read the questions you should read the problems deeply so that you can collect the data you can collect the information which is mentioned on that particular example on that particular questions on that particular problems so that's why i will try to read the challenge dear students you can see that there we can see there were eight passengers in a bus three passengers got down in a stoppage and four passengers got in how many passengers are there in the bus now the students try to collect the data from these questions can you imagine that what is described here the students to solve this question easily the author give you a image here you can see a bus there has three people and there has five people so what is show it to you the students try to understand it at the first of the story there was eight passengers and then three passengers got down so the number of passengers will be decreased here and in my earlier lecture I was described that whenever the numbers of any types of calculations will be decreased that will be a math of subtraction and that is why you should subtract these 8 from 3 so first of all the math will be like that 8 minus 3 and then you can see that 4 passengers got in so when passengers will be got will got in the number of the passengers will be increased and in my earlier lectures I mentioned that whenever the numbers of any types of calculation will be increased that will be a math of summation that will be a math of addition and that is why whenever you will try to solve these questions in the next level that will be a math of summation and that is why we can see that 8 minus 3 and then plus 4 so before solving the question we should have a clear idea of subtraction and addition and then you will be able to solve this question so it is very easy first of all you should think about that and you should count in your finger that 8 minus 3 is equal what the students you know that 8 minus 3 is equal 5 and that is why this box will be filled with 5 and then you should add 4 with this 5 so 4 plus 5 is equal 9 so there will be 9 and all together what will be the answer yes all together the answer will be 8 minus 3 is equal 5 and then 4 5 plus 4 is equal 9 so all together the answer will be 9 so dear students I hope you all were understand the challenge and you all were able to understand me now we will try to solve question number three and i will try to write this question i will try to write the solution in the board before solving this question i would like to read this question deeply so let's try to read the question 
in the first line you can see that Rhea had seven dolls she gave five dolls to her brother her father bought for her three more dolls how many dolls does she have now the students will look and try to collect data from this question look and try to get information from the data and then you can summarize customize or materialize these types of questions so it is very important to collect data it is very important to take any types of information from any types of question so the students try to understand that in the first line you can see that Rhea had seven dolls when she gave five dolls the number of dolls will be decreased and in my earlier lectures I mentioned that whenever any types of number will be decreased that will be a math of subtraction and that is why in the first line you should try to solve this question with the idea of subtraction and in the next line you can see that her father bought her four three more dolls and when these three dolls will be at with that number these number of dolls will be increased and that is why it will be a calculation of summation it will be a calculation of addition so this math will be like that in the first line we should use the concept of subtraction and then we should use the concept of addition so how can we solve this question please try to go to the board in the first line you should write that answer to the question number three because it is question number three and then whenever you will try to start the question it will be like that in the first line Rhea had th seven dolls and then she gave five dolls in earlier I mentioned that because the number of dolls will be decreased and that is why it will be a math of subtraction and you know that it is a subtraction sign and whenever you will try to solve this question you must write this sign otherwise it will be a danger for you so in the second line you should write that she gave five dolls so after that you should write that she had two dolls so dear students can you guess why I write this two here yes dear students try to count in your finger and then you can get the answer you know that 7 minus 5 is equal to that means whenever we will subtract 5 from 7 the answer will be 2 and that is why I write this 2 here in the next line we can see that her father bought 3 dolls and you know that whenever anyone bought you anything the number of anything will be increased and that is why I was used this plus sign here so I hope you all will understand that and in the next line you should write that now she has five dolls can you guess why I write this five here yes dear students you know that three plus two is equal five and that is why in the final line I was write this five so the answer of this question will be five dolls dear students it was a simple question I hope you all were understand the questions and then you all were able to understand the solution dear students you know that every types of question is easy if you understand that so before solving any types of questions read the question deep deep and deeply so now we will try to solve question number four before solving question number four I would like to show you question number four so this is page number 54 and this is the question in the first line you can see that Reza had two chocolates his mother gave him three more chocolates after that she had five of these chocolates how many chocolates were left the students it's a little bit critical questions or it uh, in uh, it's a uh, math of in entertainment so how can you solve this question before solving this please try to collect data please try to collect information from here so you, we can see that in the first line Reza had two chocolates when her mother or his mother gave him two more chocolates the number of chocolates will be increased and that is why in the first line you should use the concept of addition 
and in the second line you can see that after that he add five of these chocolates whenever you add something the number of that numbers will be decreased and when the number will be decreased we should solve the question with the concept of subtraction so in the second line you should use the concept of subtraction so it will be the process of this solution so how can we customize this please go to the board and try to show the answer so in the first line you should write that answer to the question number four and then Reza had two chocolates it is mentioned in your textbook it is mentioned in your in the question and in the second line you should write that mother gave three chocolates and because the number of chocolates will be increased and that is why we should write this plus sign here and after that you should write that he had five chocolates dear students why I write this five here can you guess yes the students try to understand that whenever we will add two with three the answer will be five and that is why he had five chocolates and in the next line we we'll should we should write this he add five chocolates it is also mentioned here it is also mentioned here that after that he add five chocolates five chocolates so if we subtract five from five what will be the answer can you guess if we subtract five from five the answer will be always zero so in the final line you should write now he had zero chocolates and that is the question and that is the solution of question number four so i hope you all were understand that and it is a interest it is an in interesting math because the answer was zero here because he had five chocolates and he had five chocolates for, from here so the answer will be zero it is a common concept and it is also uh, enjoyable maths so the answer will be z zero chocolate well left dear students i hope you all were understand the math and i hope you all were able to understand the challenge so in the next video i will try to solve another types of problems i will try to solve another types of questions of your textbooks if you have any types of problems if you have any types of questions if you have any types of discussions or any types of doubts you can clearly or uh, any without any hesitation you can write me on the comment box and then i will try to solve all the questions i will try to solve all the problems i will try to clear all the doubts which you have so in the next video inshallah we will try to solve another types of questions so stay home stay safe and try to read more and more thank you very much goodbye